from everything and everybody is because we are the ones who do all the pouring. And because we are the ones who do all the pouring, if I have nobody who pours back into us. So when they need a rock, we the rock for them. When they need a rider, we the rider for them. When they depressed, we speak life over them. When they ain't got it, we give them what we got. Then the moment, God forbid, you say, I need something. All they tell you is, you got it. No, I don't got it. I'm not even the type that would even tell you if something was wrong with me. So if I ever say something's wrong with me, you need to stop and realize something's wrong with me. And I'm trying not to lose my head. What is up, you guys? I'm back again, and we're here to talk about tips that two nice people need to know, okay? I decided to make this video for people like me who have always been too nice, or you want to just find a few things to look out for, a few things to do and not to do, and stuff to put up with and not to put up with. Girl, boy, you got the right video, because if you have this problem like I do, you're going to want to watch this video, because we're not... We're not living for nobody else. We're not being too nice to people 2024, 2025, and here on out. Okay? So if this sounds like the video for you, then just keep on watching. And if you are new here, my name is Smiley. Quick outfit check. And welcome to my life. Hey! <laughs> first point that I have written down here is to trust your gut instinct okay now I have to make this one in here because I've had plenty of times I know plenty of people who when you really know someone or you think you know someone and you've known them for a long time you think you have them down pat and they start to move a little funny you're gonna be like oh you're gonna want to make excuses for them like no that person's not gonna do this this person's not gonna do that no, this person's not like that. People switch up. Especially no matter what trauma people have had, people will switch up, okay? Do not be too nice to people. If you would check somebody that you don't even know, that, that you think doesn't even know you, right? Check them. Check, and it doesn't matter how long you've known a person, trust your intuition and be like, yo, something ain't right. And once that little alarm bell goes off, like, why is this person acting funny? It isn't you. It isn't, you know, it might be, you might, I'm not saying that you can never do nothing wrong. You know, we all have our flaws. But I'm saying, like, it isn't like something's wrong with your mind and your head. Like, oh, no, don't, don't doubt yourself ever. If something ever feels off with somebody, it doesn't matter if you've known them for 20 years. If something feels off, if they acting funny, they moving funny, doing something that you don't like, trust your intuition that something is wrong. Don't ever doubt yourself, and especially because when you get to know people for a long time, you just think, I oh, know this person, this person probably just gone through a long day, and if you tell them about it, they're like, oh, you know me, that, that, that. no, if something is wrong, something is wrong, trust yourself, and assess yourself as needed, like, you might need to cut the person off, and that's, that is perfectly fine, honey. And for number two, I have your plans come first. I can't tell you how many times I've had to like cancel other plans to satisfy other people's needs, or like I would have to work, you know, when you work and I was working like a self income job, like doing when I was doing food delivery, or like you know what I'm saying? Because you can, you don't have to start at a certain time because you clock in, clock out whenever you want to. But I wouldn't make that much that day because I would start later or I'll be missing like the times where it's like really high and things are moving like booming and stuff, moving really fast. And it affected my money, which affected my bills. So that's, of course, a no-no to do when it comes to your money. But even if it's just like for your well-being, if you have like little routines that you do every day like I do, or you need, everybody should have routines, I believe. Keep yourself busy. But if you just have plans for like a self-care day or little routines, even if it has nothing to do with money, keep your plans, honey. 
It doesn't matter if it's a man that you like, a woman that you like, if you're a man or whatever. Keep your plans. Do not cancel your plans for yourself. Your friend, your plans for yourself come first. Your life comes first. It doesn't matter who's mad. It doesn't matter who's for more fun. It doesn't matter. Your plans come first. For number three, we have no third chances. I want you to look at me in my eyes when I say this. We ain't giving nobody no third chances. <laughs> for real, for real, for real. No exceptions at all to this rule. No third chances. I make this rule because if you're somebody, especially when it's somebody that you care about a lot, you might be like, again, making excuses like, like in the number one, you got to trust your gut instinct. And if you told them like, this bothers me, or hey, can we do this? I like when you do this, or I don't like when you do this. Like, and they keep pushing that boundary with you. They see you as a weak object just because you're nice. You know what I'm saying? No third chances. The only reason I, I, I don't even think you should have second chances. I was going to put no second chances at first. The only reason I changed it from no second chances to no third chances is because, yeah, everybody's human. Some people do make mistakes. If they offend you one time, it's like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, but people, especially people that have been knowing you, if they're already, if they're offending you multiple times, and they already kind of know how you are. They know what you F with and you don't F with. You got to cut them off. They have no respect for you, no respect for your boundaries, no, whatever the problem may be, even if it's a problem about another person. If they if you, if you they get you to the point where you're just like, ew, a few times where you kind of have to be like, whoa, like, what? At, that the first time, you might want to cut them off. You see what I'm saying? But since you don't, then that's a second chance. If they tell, If they show you two times, if they make you be like, ooh, Two times, cut that person off. No third chances. We ain't being nice to nobody. No, no too nice 2024, 20, 2025, 20, or the rest of our life. Cut them off after the second time they show you that makes you be like, oh, that's that's really not the person that I thought it was. Or you really don't appreciate me, or you really disrespectful. Like, even if that's just the how the person is disrespectful towards everybody, that's even more of a reason to cut them off. But no, it doesn't matter who they are. If it's not what you want in your life, the second time they show you that, boom, it's gone. Because the, the first time, okay, you tell them they might correct it, so there might not be a second time. If there's a second time with the same similar issue or to the same like level where you get to the same level of mad or hurt, you got to let them go. Honey, I don't care what the excuse is. I don't care how long you've known them. I don't care if it's friends, family, co-worker. I don't give a damn. Let it go. Number four coincides with number three, and is don't over explain yourself. They heard you the first time, they're, con they're choosing to disrespect you. Don't over explain yourself, don't stress yourself out, don't be over here like, oh, we already went through this. If you already went through this, cut them off. Don't over explain yourself to nobody. And really, really. You don't even need to explain yourself at all. People don't even have the common sense. We all grown. If people don't even have the common sense of common, even if you in high school, bro, if they don't have the common sense of common courtesy, you don't even need to explain what the problem is. Let them figure that out on their own time. I used to think like I used to have to try to explain stuff to people. People don't know what they do wrong. You got to talk to them. That's what you hear a lot. No, hell no. I don't even believe that no more. I've been through too much now. I don't even believe that no more. Don't, don't, you don't need to explain none to nobody. Especially if they grow. We all grow. We got we got too much things we worried about. Too many, You know what I'm saying? We got too much going on to be worried about trying to raise somebody. I don't need to raise nobody else's kid. I ain't, I ain't they mama. You should understand certain things from adult to an adult, what it's to do and what it's not to do. Don't over explain nothing. You don't need to explain anything at all. All right. And for 
are the final points I have here. It's just to be yourself, honey. If you are here watching this video and you're too nice to people, you have a good heart. I don't want you to ever change that. Because eventually, you would align with other people with a good heart and y'all would just spread goodness to the world. Do never harden your heart just because your life is surrounded by terrible people. And I know, while you're watching this, I know what that feels like. Like, people don't understand things the way you understand things. But I want to tell you I'm here for you. And you can leave a comment if you want to talk. <laughs> but definitely, definitely, definitely never dim your light. Which is, like, one of the main points of this part. Never dim your light for anybody else. I've had plenty of times where I was out meeting people I just met. Like, hanging out with people who are my friends. Or mainly just like one friend who used to do it a lot. But, and everybody, I get along with a lot of people. I'm a good person. People can pick up on that type of energy. So, like, a lot of people usually, like, gravitate towards me. And then they would get, like, jealous or something. Or I even had this time where I'm singing. And I'm not even that great of a singer. But I could sing better than this particular friend. And so when I started singing, it's like she got jealous. And so I, like, I calmed down on like me singing. I started to like, just like pretend like, you know, like not really sing to make it like I can't sing. And just don't do that. It never ends up well. They're never going to appreciate that. They're never, you're just going to end up regretting yourself. And like going more into a circle, more into a circle. And now I find it harder to bring myself out of my little bubble is what I meant to say, not circle, but, uh, <clears throat> so just never dim your life for anybody, again, you'll align with the people you can shine bright with, and you don't gotta give your light to everybody, but definitely don't dim it for anybody either, if they don't align with it, then cut them off, the whole point of this video is just to cut people off, <laughs> it was like, you know, this would not be too nice to people, but in every point, you can just cut people off. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. I'm so glad we made it. I'm so glad you watched this video. If you really went to all these facts, like you're really wanting like the help, I'm gonna pray for you, okay? We're gonna do a prayer for everybody. Lord, please give everybody watching this video the strength and the courage they need to be meek, not weak. So that they can understand that their strongness and humbleness, their strongness and being self and being nice is not a weak thing to be. Please give us the strength of discernment, the spirit of discernment, to understand what spirits and what energies needs to be around us and what energies do not. Please give the people who do not feel love right now your love and your and shine your brightness. And let them feel that hug that you let me feel so many times, Lord God. Thank you for everything you've done for us. And thank you for giving us our heart to feel peace, to feel love, and to share love. Thank you for everything. Amen. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, night, day, whatever it is. And a wonderful rest of you guys this year and the rest of you guys this life. Again, if you are new here, my name is Smiley. And you want to keep up with me or watch more of my videos, I would love that. I appreciate you guys for watching this one. But in order for you to keep up with me, I'm going to need you to subscribe, okay? After you subscribe, right next to it is going to be a notification bell. You're going to have to press that and then press all notifications so you can get notified anytime I post a video. And that's really all I have to say, you guys. I love you guys. You guys are important and you guys are valued, okay? We need more good-hearted people out here. So let's do night. And I love you <laughs> again. <laughs> Bye.